shepherd, shepherd, shepherd. Well, I can certainly do that. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Uh, guaranteed, I will have the same level of anxiety about farming my crops. Welcome to the Stardew Valley Seed Run. I'm Vic Kruger. V. E. Kruger. V Vec Ruger? You know, take your pick. Um, beautiful sunny day. Well, that's too bad. Oh, thank you. I don't know how to change that noise. <laughs> Oops. Oh, a little extra luck. I, 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 I'm so like stressed out from watching that that alien stream that I need like recenter myself, get myself back down to the Stardew Valley, to Pelican Town. Remember what I'm at. I think I need to plant these wheat seeds today. We're going to start there. It's a farm party. Welcome to the farm party. Yep, please. Oh, I got a newspaper. Newspaper article written about me. All right. Um, we're going to start with... Oh, that's what that noise is. The barn is going up. Hey, corn. So, I think, yeah, we'll start with um, getting these wheat seeds in the ground, because that's probably... One thing I don't actually know is if wheat really pays off, or if you need to... Yeah, the music... What, what a change of pace from Alien, huh? Um, let's see, that's not nearly enough. You gotta fill this whole thing up. And one thing I don't actually know is if the wheat seeds, or if the wheat is worth it itself, or if you need to turn it into bread to make it worth the, the cost. So I don't know, let's just go for it, huh? I don't know how to count. I thought, oh yeah, 19, so I did 29. Well, you know, it's not like I have a... Uh, advanced education in mathematics or anything. So the plan, I have some good luck today. I'm gonna have uh, a bit of energy left. Um, I don't have much, if any, money of 248 zenny up there, so what I need to do, I think, is just get down into those mines, you know? Um, oops, oopsie, oopsie daisy. Um, I'm making good progress. I got, as you can see, I got that barn up on day one of summer. And, yeah, that's, that's, that's 
pull ourselves up by our minds. Um, get some of that cash. It's been, uh, the, the last time I played too was one week ago and I was having such ridiculous connection issues to Twitch. Luckily I made affiliate since then, so now I've got, I've got higher tier access to the good servers don't drop frames every three seconds so you're seeing me in glorious 720p 33 720p 30 i got the servers that work yeah i'm gonna have a half a bar of energy left after watering all these good good summer plants so yeah let's hit those mines it's tuesday we're not gonna forget on this stream we're not gonna forget to go to that traveling cart that's my guarantee to you dear viewers we will bring that fishing rod with us, because why not, you know? Um, we don't have any food that's worth much. Oh boy. I didn't think anyone would have enough points to redeem a, a, a math chat this early. My cabbages! <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Avatar lately, by the way, so my cabbages hits right here. Oh, my camera's all goofed up. I just got up. Ah, there we go. We'll just... And then zoop. There we go. Uh, a math math chat. Let's talk about math. So, uh, River, River House Games has redeemed my first uh, Zenny reward since I became affiliate. Um, math chat is where I talk about math for a little bit. Um, if you don't know, I am... Uh, a holder of a degree, a, a master's degree in uh, applied and computational mathematics with a focus in enumerative combinatorics. Oh, there's grapes. I gotta take those to the community center. I gotta not eat them. Hey, bud. No, I love you. Um, anyway, um, using my degree, yeah, using my nerd degree. This is how we get the funny numbers. I can tell you all about the funny numbers. The funniest number is a is what's called a complex number because it is literally imaginary. And what we can do with imaginary numbers is very complex. And that's a joke for people who already know what I'm talking about. So anyone who's being informed by this will not find that funny. Polished up that bundle, though. Some good stuff, maybe? Summer seeds. Well, we'll deal with that later. Anyway, complex numbers are numbers that have an imaginary component. So if you have the number three, maybe, maybe you can say three plus two I, which is two imaginary numbers. Now, what we can do with that is... Uh, you can create functions that are really boring with non-complex numbers. So you can say like, oh, I want some number z to some power plus another number. Thank you, Zen Haver. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, that little the tune that just started playing, that's, that's the subscriber sound. I'm glad that worked. Hopefully it came through with the stream too. I know I can hear it in my in my ear holes. Um, so you can have a really boring function that when you use complex numbers, if you punch a complex number to it, it suddenly becomes very interesting. So if you've ever seen that image of like the ghostly shadow image of the, looks like a, uh, a horseshoe crab, it's called the Mandelbrot set. And that's a graph of all the numbers that when you stick it into a certain function does nothing. Complex numbers. When you stick it into a certain function does nothing. But then the numbers that are colored are the ones that blow up to infinity when you plug them in there. And what they found is that it's this big horseshoe, horseshoe crab shaped graph that if you zoom in on it, it looks exactly the same after a point. It's like those old, those old viral GIFs where you like zoom in on the map and it zooms in and you see more stuff and you see more stuff and it never stops you can do that with this set and it's a mathematical set and the cool thing about math is that 
This came up in a, in a stream a few weeks ago, a stream that I that I follow, uh, Mod Shy on Twitch. Was people were talking about is math a, an invention or a discovery? And the neat thing about math is that it is an invention we came up with in order to just describe things that we discovered. So it's kind of both. And the really interesting thing about the Mandelbrot set is that it's a discovery within this invention. So like we created this set of rules to describe things we saw in the world around us. We had to make rules that were consistent with what we saw. And so that we could like manipulate them and think about them ourselves and make predictions. And then we found this really cool thing that no one would have come up with on their own within these rules. And I think about that a lot. Like I'm a big, I'm a big fan, a big proponent of like emergent storytelling, um, collaborative storytelling, stuff that comes out of a set of rules that you define. Like you never would have told this tabletop role-playing story without the rules you've set up in advance, like the guide posts that you set. Like, you never would have thought of that without those guideposts. And the Mandelbrot set kind of reflects that in a weird way. In that, we never would have discovered this infinitely repeating horseshoe crab shaped graph if we hadn't come up with these rules for literal something that was literally described to be imaginary. Anyway, that's the Mandelbrot set. And that's been Math Chat. Thank you for redeeming your, your 500 zenny. But you didn't think I could loop uh, talking about mathematics back into tabletop role-playing games, but... Oh, I did. Give me that frozen tear. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna have to highlight that math chat so people can know what they're, uh, what they're in for when they subscribe to this quality Twitch channel. Also, thank you to anybody who has uh, followed me. Uh, I was at 43, 42 or 43 followers as of Saturday, and now I'm at 59. It's a big number. So if you don't know, 50 was the threshold to make affiliate, which gets me access to those primo good, good Twitch servers, and also gets me those zenny points that you can turn into math chat. Oh. Yeah, 10 to go, and then I can stop. 10 beep goofed up. Got to the funny number and then kept going. Also, um, if, you've no if you haven't noticed, only one more level of the mind to go before I'm done. Need to find some food. Tried to give some subs and sub myself, and Twitch took the money but isn't doing the thing. Hmm, that's... Distressing. Would there be a game that would pair well with more math chat? Every game pairs well with math chat. Uh, I got to the funny mind level, by the way, so... Made it. Done. And actually, I may have to quit because I'm almost out of mining juice here. Oh, golly. This is... Did I find any food? I should have brought those little bits of rice. Frog fractions is good for math talk. That's true. Because fractions... For those who don't know, fractions are math things. Oh, hamburgers. I'm not going to make it. I'm going to have to stop at the funny number. I get one more swing. <sighs> well, it didn't do it. If only I brought my bombs. I sure didn't. Well, we goofed it up. We were talking too much. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just here to pay my respects. Can I get some Fs in the chat to pay respects to the funny level? Thank you. I left the I left the the mine even when it was still light out. That's that's not like me. 
<laughs> Thank you for the all, all the Fs. Well, at the very least, I got some stuff that's worth money. Hot pepper. I don't have any hot peppers. Um, let's go to the bulletin board quick. Don't have any of that stuff quite yet. Die bundle. I found... No, I... I think I might have found a mushroom at some point. I might... Oh, that was in the fall foraging bundle, though. Oh, and then a frozen geode I could put in there. Purple mushroom. Thank you. I do have a frozen geode, right? Yeah, I do. I'm very much about submitting these community center items as soon as I get them. Because otherwise I'll sell them. I will 100% sell them. No, oh, field research. One of those. A chub. Ah, crap. I think I threw one of those away at one point. Did I? Eh, who knows. I want to hear your impassioned uh, defense of whether F should be capitalized or not when paying respects. I, I have a weird relationship with F, actually, because I was saying... It, th this is going to sound like I'm lying, but F... Chubs are real <laughs> common. I'm always just tripping over chubs. Um, what was I talking about? Um, the Okay. So I have a weird relationship with F to pay respects because I, I truly actually was saying F um, when things went poorly before everyone else was because I, I said it as a reference to some YouTube series way back when. I forget what it was, but someone yells F! a lot like was their thing like oh thank you that Wilder. Uh, uh, twitch is a known era with subscription bits of a seven minutes ago hold off on it for now well that Wilder's too good for that um i can get rid of that i can get rid of that I need that I need that um let's sell the garbage sell the stuff just to get as much money as possible. Okay. Um, yeah, so I said F in the chat before it was cool. Because... Oh, it was the... The two guys, the magician... Uh, David Blaine? It was like fake David Blaine. And one of the guys, his thing was he yelled F when he was upset. Because it, it was like he was like trying to say the F word, but not saying the F word and not say the F word. Just say F. And I, like, adopted that myself as a, as a mannerism and started saying F when things went poorly. And then people started, yes, yeah, what what the F? Yeah, exactly. Oh, there was an explosion. It sure sounded like. But, um, I started saying that and then people started saying it. I was like, what, why is everyone saying this thing that I've said for years now? And then I saw the pushing F to pay respects is like now my bit is take so cheese it's cheese it's yeah those guys and then and then, and then. <laughs> what's his thing he got like up in the I realize that looks silly now because I'm just a tiny little th Thing up in the corner of the screen. I'm just this tiny little guy. Earthquake! Did that goof up my farm? Is that new? A little extra luck again. <laughs> yeah, please clip. Please. <laughs> please clip. Oh, a storm tomorrow. Finally rain. I don't have any uh, lightning rods, though, to capture all the lightning juice. Yeah, actually, my, my activity feed is not updating either, because I see I got a new follower, but I don't see who, and I don't see the, sub, the subs, so something's goofy with Twitch. But surprisingly, I haven't dropped a single frame. So they're doing fine there. Oh, you crow. You, that's one of my nine melons.
Can I get an F in the chat for my melon? Ah, we're here. The sex quest. Mm. That's how you do it. So everyone just go back in time and follow or uh, subscribe to me then. Discreetly. All right. Um. I think I need to go buy a. Oh, it's Wednesday. I can't buy a scarecrow. Maybe I can make one. What does it take? Wood, coal, fiber. Hey, let's do that right now. I got all of those things. Wood, coal, fiber. Let's make two of them, even. Oh, yeah. I had a journal entry for that. I made money off of protecting my crops. All right. You're going to go there to protect the rest of the melons. You're going to go there. Hopefully that's good. Because I am so these crows. I'm, I'm tired of these crows. No more crows. I'm burning daylight. What am I doing? I hope that doesn't sound horrible when I'm like manhandling this this uh, arm here. I have a shock mount, but maybe that doesn't absorb everything I think it does. Oh, I need to grab uh, the rest of those seeds that I got. Boop. Um. Let's water that. See, I think I, I got a lot of money today, although I timed it poorly with Pierre being closed once again. So I might do a little bit of foraging just to find some food. And then go to the mines. Maybe I can actually get past the funny number level today. Are you goofing with me, Trunks? Am I still streaming? I'm not streaming. I come back yet? Hopefully I'm back now. Okay. That was weird. I didn't do anything. Twitch just uh, just up and decided that I don't get to stream anymore. I, I Here I was talking all... Yeah. I was talking all big game about how Twitch wasn't dropping any frames. Then Twitch said, oh, au contraire. Oh, thanks for hanging out, Riverhouse Games. Enjoy your sleep. Have yourself a lovely evening. Lovely night. Lovely morning. Thank you for the bits. Apparently bits are working <laughs> again. Oh yeah, I suppose the... Uh, everyone got a pre-roll ad again. I have, to, I have to consider that now. I have to, like, push a button to... Did you hear this guy? He said he's got the good servers. Well, we'll show him. Demonetize his channel now! He's telling them- he's telling them about math! Yeah, hopefully they, they don't just, like, take the money and run. Sure would be nice if they wouldn't if they wouldn't do that, but it is Amazon. Alright, um... Oh, I have a new Mayor Shorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if they discover math, they'll realize I've been screwing them this whole time. Alright, so that... Gives me some juice. I'm just gonna chomp on that right now. 
yeah, I mean, any any Twitter post where people uh, announce uh, a problem with the service has got to be hell. Not that I want to defend them or like give them any any leeway here. They literally are like the server company. That's just the, that's the thing they do. And when they mess it up, it's like, really? The biggest company in the world? Why? Hey, buddy. Let's talk. Yeah, you will. We'll be best friends before. That. It's not a creepy when I said it like that. I mean, we're like, I'm gonna talk to him and be, be his friend. I'm gonna bring him gifts. I'll bring him grapes. I don't have a lot of juice. So I don't have a lot of. This is downtime. Took out some. Oh, wow. Hey. I don't know. You haven't heard about that. Oh, actually, I did hear about that. There was a global issue. And I got notified at work about it, and they said there was this w my my giant company I work at was using a workaround in order to <laughs> use email, which is a weird thing. Yeah, if I if I can squeeze some ladders out of these baddies, laddies out of these baddies, I'll just leave that one on the table. Um. I want to save as much energy as... Oh, well. Maybe one of them will have a ladder. Because here come the bats. Oh, bats. Just going to swing my... My little slicey dice. Anyway, if you made it back after the, uh, the giant net split that just happened, uh, welcome back. Thanks again for joining me. God, remember net splits? Remember IRC? Be having a conversation and suddenly the server you're connected to would split into two different servers and it was like all your friends disappeared for five minutes. Internet boomers. That's me. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna cut up some more of these dust mites. Good luck day means I should be finding more ladders than I am in baddies. But last time I played, the luck lied to me. It was a, a liar's luck, you know? Like fool's fall. And I hate fool's fall. Maybe what happened was I got too close to the camera and Amazon's servers broke. Uh, which <laughs> split do we land on? Berenstein or Berenstain? Oh boy. I haven't thought about that question in a minute or two. Honestly, like, the teacher who introduced me to those books when I was a kid uh, pronounced it Bernstein. Bernstein Bears. So I think I've, I've, like, I internalized that at a very young age and, like, rode with that my entire life. We also had a, uh... I mean, we, we had a lot of teachers with names that were spelled a way that you didn't... You wouldn't be able to anticipate the way they pronounced them. Because, like... Highly, highly German Scandinavian area. So, you know, people played it fast and loose with their pronunciations of things. Like, if you pronounced it a way that made you seem like... Oh, you might have some Swedish in you. That was a different thing than like, oh, you pronounce it like it sounds like you're German. And oh, oh, boy. People would get heated over that in the church basement. I, I'm back at the nice floor. And I've got more energy juice, so I can... I hate ghosts. Hey, I love ghosts. There, we made it. We got the thing. I never use slingshots, though. Anybody who's played this game more than me, are slingshots worth it? Do they do anything? Or do they just take your stones and you miss a lot? Because I feel like I just miss a lot when I... 
I might get to 75 if these ladders keep popping up like this. I'm gonna ignore that skeleton there. Is there a use for slingshots? I mean, yeah. I, I, I don't use them either. Yeah, fair enough. Come on. More bats. Just give me a ladder. Played for two hours and got anxiety. I mean, that's... That's kind of the start to experience. Another lead rod? I don't desire a lead rod. What was a bat doing carrying a lead rod around anyway? Oh, don't you throw your bone in me. Oh, God. Freudian slip. I'm getting a little low on the H bar, actually. My H bar is getting low. Yeah, I really wish they would let you sell weapons to people. Or like a lot like the gear. I'm I'm a little low on the H bar. I think I'm just gonna bail. I got to 70. Let's just call it a day. I don't have any food. Hey, fellas. Oh, I can sell the weapons. Oh, okay. I just can't sell the slingshots. I don't need that. In the US of A, you can sell lots of weapons. But no slingshots, because that's not a gun. Templar's Blade. That's a lot of money. Well, I'll get rid of the rod, at least. I might just make an executive call here and just... Not even waste the inventory space, quite frankly. Right, I'm gonna try and ascertain my... Okay, still says 59 followers. Make sure my, golly, my connection is holding up here. Seems to be, at least for now. I haven't dropped any more frames. I, I honestly, I think it was the same way for quite a while. Oh, I need to donate that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. The rest I'll keep. Um, there's, there's so many things. I mean, look at this. I, I, forgetting that I can sell weapons. I still have all these weapons in my, in my chest here. Um, I'm absolutely a, uh, keep everything kind of guy. Um, I think I'll, t yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll make a trip over to, I won't need to water anything tomorrow. So I'll go to Gunther, I'll go to Clint, um, and I'm gonna hit up Pierre's tomorrow. Get some more seeds. There's, a, there's, there's gotta be a, yeah, there's definitely a pro ZD video about this, right? Um, use use an ether, but I only have 87 or something like that. Pet kitty, watch TV. Clear and sunny. Another good luck day. Oof. Alright, well, let's just load up on the stuff we need to take down there. Take one of those. I can probably sell the rest of those jades, actually. Um, did I turn in... 
think a game needs to use that as a troll. Give you a mega rare item and only one of it, but not tell you that's a key item. Need to get the secret area. I, I'm sure, I'm certain there's a JRPG or two that has done that. I would be quite frankly shocked if that wasn't a thing. Adventures bundle. There we go. A ten, oh, I can turn in a bunch of these things. Uh, slime, slimes. I can't. I. I gotta like physically bring it over there, right? I can't just. Yeah. So I can bring the slime, and I can bring the bat. Oh, I can't bring the slime. I'll bring a solar essence instead. Is that it? It'll be like your normal Phoenix down, Ultra Phoenix, and then the Mega Phoenix is the one you have to use to open a secret area and have that part of an RPG. Yeah, like it's it's named Shepherd, very similar. Shepherd, Shepherd. Mod Shy is oh my uh <laughs> my alert apparently reverted to the old one I had. Uh, welcome Musi, welcome everybody from Mod Shy's uh, channel. If you don't, if you don't follow Mod, by the way, go follow Mod. Um. Oh, I sold the quartz. Wow, there's a ton of people. Welcome, welcome. Mod has been playing Fury on her channel, um, which stresses me the hell out to watch. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be very honest with you here. Oh, what's that puppy? I love that puppy. Maxi, hey, I love that little pup. I want that pup. All right, do I have enough stuff? Adventure bundle, geologist bundle, I brought one of these. I'll figure those out later. I sold all my frozen tears. Oops, oopsie daisy. Hey, thank you for the follow, woo moving target. You got, I, I, every time that happens, the kitty, I forget, I forget that that music is from the kitty and not from the video game. One of those, one of those. I'm, I'm, I'm glad uh, Mod has vouched for me. Uh, I, I, <laughs> Hopefully I'll live up to that. The stream absolutely just crash diddly crashed earlier, so you're you're here at the right time now that everything's back and stable. Mod mod is all right. Mod is one of the I'm I, I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a hot among us. Uh, stream watcher mods among us streamers are the ones that I really get into because when mod becomes the um, imposter there's kind of this whole I actually don't know what's going to happen aspect to it that I really enjoy like when when it's like 3 a.m. and she's uh, completely tired and still somehow still somehow manages to pull out a victory that's a good stream. Will she actually kill? Probably not, but if she does, it'll be hilarious, and I love it. I watched that. I watched that 3 a.m. stream like twice because I got such a kick out of it. All right, I dealt with all that. I can figure this stuff out later. I have such a memory hole for so many of these bundles. I forgot that they existed. Thank you, Koodles. Thanks for following. Every time it happens, it makes me so happy. That kitty's so cute. I love it. It just smiles at me. But then apparently the bits I left on standard, I didn't change that one. And um, the raid I still have set to my Mass Effect one from who knows how long ago. Streamlabs is a f many funny thing. It's a, it's a fickle, it's a fickle software. <laughs> the only time my face will be described as tiny. I'll make it sure it's centered a little bit better. There we go. Yeah. I'm very particular about this. There we go. I used to have a green screen, so I actually had like the Stardew background behind it, but Star the or the, the, the green screen is a. Uh, Kind of a pain to bust out for this. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I should do that. Oh, he doesn't do it when I'm talking to him like this, though. So I'll just do the Clint face. Hold on. Oh, I missed. Does that work? Did that do it? Yeah, actually, my, uh, my... I have a five-year-old Logitech webcam. It actually has software that does the auto green screening. It works all right. Got a whole lot of nonsense there. I guess I can donate that, probably. I don't have a beard. Who knows? You might find some rare ores. Once upon a time, I had a beard. It was bad. That's the end of that story. Riverhouse Games, who was in the chat just a little while ago, um, didn't like beards, and then grew the perfect beard. And I am livid. Oh, yes. The Singing Stone is my favorite. Ooh. Sweepy. I would, uh, I would happily take refuge in your beard. You do have a glorious beard. Oh, yes. Time to just enjoy laying on the beach in the rain. Sometimes I like to burn precious uh, daylight minutes in Stardew for a bit on my st stream on Twitch.tv. Sometimes. Have I? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go to Pierre's get some more seeds because I finally have some more cash. Yes, it is Tim Beep's birthday. And beep, uh, in the chat, one of my moderators, say happy birthday. If you aren't currently following Tembeep, now's the time to follow Tembeep. She just played Alien Isolation for two hours and change and encountered uh, a handful of working Joes, one or two. Uh, I think I planted some peppers. Sunflowers are good. Pricey, but good. We're going to drop down five of those. Hops are good. It was a terrifying stream. Especially when, when the working Joes just catch fire. Yeah, <laughs> I uh, scheduled... Oh, math chat time. Well, I scheduled this stream for after your 10 beep tries Tuesdays thinking 10 beep tries Tuesdays were usually going to be like you know try a chill new game but then you got really into alien and so now I got to follow that I want to be very clear I want to be very clear here talking about mathematics is never torment for me let's talk about math so, uh, earlier tonight we talked about the Mandelbrot set, which is a result from a uh, type of number called a complex number. <laughs> well, you're what I like to call a captive audience because you raided me. <laughs> so, <laughs> stress, strap in. Um, but what I also want to talk about is something called, I, I want to talk about prime numbers in general, and a special kind of prime called a Mersenne prime. So, as you know, a, pr a prime number is a number that can't be divided any further. Um, it can only be, by definition, it can only be divided by itself, and it can be divided by the number one. <laughs> one of our first days, he was like, want to know why one plus one equals two or something. Uh, I think we were already living together at that point, which was another captive audience situation, but they, I, I did, I let you off easy on that one. I only talked for about two minutes. Um, anyway, um, so a prime number is a number that can only be divided by itself and one. 
uh, a Mersenne prime is the for is a number of the form uh, two to the p, where p is some prime number minus one. So it's a power of two um, minus one. So it's a, just one number back from a prime number. And what makes the Mersenne prime interesting is that it's a like very elegant seeming. No, I gotta put this right here so I can jam on it. Just jam on it every time I wake up. Uh, what makes a percent prime interesting is that it's a very elegant form of a prime number, but we only know of like fifty of them, if that. Let me maybe less than fifty. Like we've only ever found a, a small handful of them, and when I say found, we like stick a number of that form into a computer and be like, hey, is this prime? And it takes networks of supercomputers or more commonly networks of commodity hardware um, weeks or months to test whether or not this number is an actual prime number. And you may be asking, well, what's so great about Mersenne primes? Why do we care? Why are we spending all this like time and energy deciphering whether or not they're prime? Uh, we don't know. We don't know if there's anything cool about them other than the fact that it's a very elegantly def defined type of prime number. Um, and that's it. But what we do know is that when things... So like the Mandelbrot set, we know that at times when we de design this mathematical system and something beautiful and elegant pops out of it, usually there's something we can do with that. Like, for example, I, I mentioned earlier, uh, my focus in my degree was on enumerative combinatorics, which is creating, essentially, functions that predict... How do I put this? Uh, uh, functions that predict the way, things that com the way things combine together. And so, if you were to be like, oh, how many different ways can you arrange a chessboard? You could use enumerative combinatorics to figure that out, and then figure out, you know, what percentage of them are look like this or so to speak. Um, and it's not immediately obvious how combinatorics plays into that until you get really far into it. So percent primes could end up being something that's really awesome that'll help us like design warp engines or something like that. Yeah, yeah, you can use, so there's a tool called the Great Internet Percent Prime Search or GIMPs um, which you can also use to test your processor because it takes an, ama an amazing amount of processor power to test these things um, and so I, when I was in grad school we co-opted all the Linux machines in the computer lab and all our personal computers and put them on the same team and we started climbing the ranks the charts of people who were testing Mersenne primes and if your computer found a Mersenne prime and validated it you got a huge stipend so my CPU dies when it's calculating primes for Diffie Hellman keys yeah yeah, actually, the the great Internet Mersenne Prime search is how I determined that my original Core 2 Duo was broken. Uh, because one of the cores kept throwing errors. And I was like, oh, man, I'm playing these very simple games, but they keep crashing on me, and I replaced my RAM and all this crap. And Eventually, the great Internet Mersenne Prime search told me it was because my, my dang processor was just shot. These hats are so expensive. Anyway, that's been Math Chat. Uh, you can all thank James Tarr for uh, subjecting you to that. For 500 zenny. Personally, I think that's a steal. 500 zenny for uh, a mini lecture. Usually you pay, what, $500 per credit? Can I get some F's to pay respect to James Tarr? I'm not finding a single dang foraged item. This is... bad. <laughs> Thank you for the funny numbers in chat. Well, I'm at a point, I don't know what to do with the rest of my day. It's 5 p.m.? What do I do now? I've done so much. I planted seeds. I turned things in. I, I bought the seeds that I planted. 
I don't have any, uh... Oh, I should go befriend Marnie a bit more, because I need to get into her bedroom to steal the mayor's underwear back. That's a normal sentence. Uh, I haven't been going to the cart this run, because the cart has not shown up yet. That was a test, and I passed. I do need to play with cat. I always need to play with cat. Hey, my thing is updating now. It says I have 61 followers. Only eight more. Eight to go. Then I can retire. Anybody else as proud of the, the crops that I've laid here as I am? I'll have to jam on that thing. Where are my... Where is... Oh, Cat's out. I thought Cat didn't go outside in the rain. Thank you for the good luck. Thanks for streaming earlier. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for raiding me. Have a good night. I don't have my axe. I think I'll use the rest of my night to chop some trees. It's such a weird feeling for me. Because, like, in my meat life, I never get to the moment where I'm like, Wow, I finished all the things I wanted to do today. Now what do I do? There's always more to do. Always something else I need to focus on. So to come across that in this video game... It just takes you out of the realism, you know? The otherwise flawlessly realistic game. What I need to do, actually, I guess Marnie was closed by the time I got there, but I should start daily anime chores. Yeah, I've been falling behind on my anime chores myself. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get one of those. Get all those, alright. Because we're going to need to... Get some livestock real quick. Is there something here? Or am I just goofing this up? Oh, I guess I'm just goofing it up. Well, you know. Can't goof them all. But really, I gotta think this design through here. Um, excuse me, I'm, like, literally busy. I'm, I'm literally busy right now. Okay. Um, I feel like I could have been more efficient with how I designed that fence, but... one thing I'm bad at in this video game, it's being good with fences. Oh, I trapped myself. Well, let's go get some more wood and make another gate. Okay. Oh, I kicked the butterflies out. I put the wood in the water. I, I goofed everything up just now. Okay, that's enough for a gate. Now I feel like I had a productive day, you know? <laughs> Thank you for the Fs. Okay. Um, so that's good. 
Tomorrow I can... Oh, I hope I... Ooh. I might have spent all my money on seeds, and now I have no money to buy livestock. But tomorrow, maybe we'll just go to the mine. If my luck, if my luck it continues on the good streak I've been having. Thanks for stopping by. We'll, we'll, um, we'll try that one again. Oh, it's midnight. Ah, oh, hamburgers. Thank you for stopping by. Woo, moving target. There, I said like an adult. Was that not my cat out here? Okay, well, whatever. Thank you for coming by. Be glad. Uh, the farming will be happy. I'm relatively sure. Yeah, that's not enough. That's not enough zenny for a cow. <laughs> At the risk of uh, completely ruining my luck streak, I haven't dropped any more frames. So that's good. And now I expect neutral day. That's a that's a mine day if I've ever heard of one. Get rid of that. I need that. All right. None of this is harvestable. Yeah, now I fully expect. That's uh. That's how you want that to look, right? That's not dead. My star fruit didn't get struck by lightning, did it? That'd be a real sad development in my in my save file. Got upgraded. Light lightning upgrades the star fruit into a uh, Fusion fruit. Sometimes a Dragon Ball Z reference just doesn't hit the way you want it to. That's a lie. Dragon Ball Z references are always topical and good. Would you believe it? for programming notes this channel has gone zero days since the dbz reference my i have never gone more than zero days without a dbz reference i mean my my, my boy here is literally trunks look at this this is trunks i can't i can't load up this game without dbz oh now we need a uh, nichuju one um nichujo Never actually tried to pronounce that out loud. Nichi Joe. Joe. Anyway. Um. I I am now realizing that I shouldn't have named my cat Corin. Although Corin's still a very good. Corin's a good name for a cat overall. But now, my brain brain full of DBZ references, head empty when it comes to the name of the cat in Nichiju. Stretch time. Good, good call. If you're watching this, uh, you are now contractually ob obligated to join me in a stretch. Ugh. Sakamoto. Puar is the, the cat in DBZ, right? The little floaty cat? A 
floaty cat? It, it, no, Puar is the cat that can talk. But then Dr. Briefs also has a cat that I don't think has a name. But yeah, Sakamoto. I should have named my cat Sakamoto. Oh, I don't know if that came through in the mic, but my neck just popped in a real, a real satisfying way. Like a... Oh, that's great. Let's get some real plosives on the mic. That's, that's good. That's good. Uh, that's good content. People love plosives. Alright, what's the plan today? Did I have a plan? I guess go to Marnie and see how much money I'm going to need. Oh, rats. I hope the truffle, if it's at the traveling cart, does not cost more than 795 zenny. Otherwise, I'm going to be in a... Bad place. Let's talk to Marnie first, huh? Alright, Marnie, what do you need for a cow? 1,500 gold. I can get that before too long. Especially if I sell a sweet pea and a spice berry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Big truffles, big truffles. No whammies. Bruschetta. Oh, now I'm hungry. I had baguette tonight, but I want more baguette now. Choice seeds. Well, don't that beat all. Alright, no luck. But that's okay, I probably wouldn't have been able to afford it anyway. Uh, we can hit up the... Secret Spicy Forest right now, though. Maybe find some... Some mushrooms. And some slimes to slice. Oh, there's a fiddlehead fern there. See, it was a good day. And a red mushroom? Look at this. I'm glad I went to the secret spicy forest. Two red mushrooms. I get one for me. I get one to have. I can have my mushroom cake and eat it too. Oh, now I want to figure out what a mushroom cake is and make it. Um, allow me to assure you that you are not the first person to not notice the, the pun. Um, but I am very glad you did. I, I was very proud of myself when I thought of that. I'm gonna re I'm gonna reenact exactly how it went when I thought of it. I was like, God, I should do a, I should do a Stardew Valley speed. I was, I was watching GDQ this year and I was like, God, I should do a Stardew Valley speed run. But what would a Stardew Valley speedrun be? I guess getting the community center in one year. I can't really call it a speedrun though, because I'm not going to do it fast. I'm just going to do it over the course of a few... <gasps> Seed run. And then I registered on Twitch.tv. It technically is, uh, I mean, getting the... Where am I? Get out of there, Trunks. Okay. Getting the community center in one year is a real challenge run that... Um, the people that, that the, the Stardew community gets into. Um, I don't know if anyone's ever called it a seed run. I feel, you know, at least 30% confident that it, it, I, I'm the first one to do a stream called that. You know, I'm not going to go above 30, but I feel fine with that. But, um... I also know that the the challenge run, I uh, I should just file for that. Um, I also know the challenge run is basically down to RNG. Like the only way to succeed at it is to get lucky and find a truffle because the the it's basically impossible to get a truffle through legitimate means in year one. You need a truffle to finish the community center. 
but it's impossible to get one through normal means. The only way you can get it is by buying one at the traveling cart, and it's a very, very low chance that it'll spawn in a traveling cart in the first year. So I can do everything else perfectly, but still fail, because I won't get the truffle. So really, like I'm, I'm, I'm mainly just hoping against hope here. Just, you know, I can do, I can do everything fine and still fail. What can you do? Um, I forget where all this garbage goes. There we go. Fiddlehead fern to that fella. Yeah, I can see he needs a truffle. Red mushroom. Oh, gold one. Feel bad giving that up. Oh, aquamarine. I sold one of those. The red cabbage is also the thing. That I think that's actually that might be the thing I'm thinking of. The 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 truffle you can you can get if you go right for a pig. You can get lucky. But the red cabbage you absolutely flat cannot get. Year one. Unless you find one for sale in the traveling cart. That must be it. I think that's it. Oh, sea urchin. I think I've definitely sold one of those. What I need to do, now that it's summer, I need to think with my brain, look through my... I have a spreadsheet. I have a Google Sheets spreadsheet. I need to think with my brain when I go and look through that sheet and know it's summer. I, these are the things I need to focus on. Hopefully I didn't waste that stormy day. Purple mushroom. I don't have any purple mushrooms, unfortunately. Just red ones. Um, consult my, my spreadsheet. Make sure I'm not squandering any days. Because even though it is pretty easy to get everything that isn't the truffle and the red cabbage, you still can goof it up if you're not, like, focused and, you know, eyes on the prize, etc., etc. Oh, coral. Now I forget. Did I need coral for something? In that bulletin board? Boy, if only I had a Google Docs spreadsheet that I could consult about this. No, 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 no coral. Just gold bar. Coral! No! Fun fact. Uh, Pierre's shop was originally called Things and Stuff. That's not a that's not a true fact, that's a factoid. Hi, Evelyn. Oh, I should go talk to I talked to Marnie already. No, I didn't talk to her, I just inquired about purchasing. I can fix this. Oh, I can give her a flower too. So I can get those underwear. Hey, how are you? Gift time. Yeah. Are we friends? Nope. Okay. <laughs> it's a well-known fact. If you give enough flowers to Marnie, she lets you into her bedroom so you can steal her boyfriend's underwear back. The friendship door is still closed. The door to her heart is still closed. The door to the mayor's underwear is still closed. Alright, let's uh, get rid of all this nonsense. Nonsense. Don't think I need this anymore now that I've turned that in. Same story. I'm gonna be egg on my face if I needed that. Um, but if I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, I'll have enough cash tomorrow to buy a cow. What else can I do today? I'm all out of juice. Can't touch corn too far away. Oh! Oh! Right! Salmon berries. Oh, there's the bats. Well, geez, I can go turn in the peach right now. I think. In the artisan bundle? Yeah, let's do it. Wow. We're crushing it tonight. The more viewers I get, the more luck I get. 
Oh, and a spice berry? Look at this. I absolutely am going to have enough cash tomorrow. I'm going to give one of these salmon berries to my good, good friend. There you go, pal. Yeah. Linus and I are friends, aren't we? Nothing fun sitting around here. We'll go home. I oh, know, we'll go to the community center. I'm having an eyes on the prize issue. Keep forgetting about the prize. With regards to my eyes. Tomorrow's gonna be a very big day, too. Assuming I get the cash. I, I can't believe I won't get the cash. Tomato, hot pepper, blueberry, melon. Hopefully I planted blueberries. Now I'm doubting myself. Well, we'll find out. I'm having the same problem in this game that I have in real life. I plant things and then I forget what I planted where. I just see little green stalks coming out of the ground. I'm like, oh, they, those could be onions or that could be corn. Who knows? Literally no way to tell. No one has ever explained it to me. All right, that feels like a productive day, right? Nothing more to do. Nothing more to say. Let's just go to bed, huh? <sighs> Got a jam on it. Uh, just want to report... Officially, officially, as of now, my channel has 420 views. Nice, and thank you. <laughs> Where is the mystery sound? <laughs> this is Megalovania, is this not? Clear and sunny tomorrow, that's too bad. Ooh, good fortune day. Hmm. I think we go back to the mines. Don't you? I think we... For... Oh, right, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thank you for being up so late with me. Watching this nonsense. Hot pepper time. This is the real hot pepper gaming. Oh, I do have... I have exactly enough cash for a cow, too. Um, well, shoot. Sleep is unimportant. Only time important. Okay, so my, my star fruit definitely did die. So do I not, so I just not get that star fruit then? Like it, it. Definitely got struck by lightning or something. I've never seen that. Do I just not? I feel like the game hosed me out of my star fruit. I want to. I want to speak to. I want to speak to this game's manager. I was so happy. I was so proud of myself for turning in all those library goods, museum goods, to Gunther. And now here I am, uh, a man without star, a man outside of Starfruit. Can I, can I speak to can I speak to nature's CEO please 
Thank you. The bit, the bits uh, soften the blow of the star fruit just a little bit. Fifty dollars will make me extremely less sad. A hundred dollars will make, or fifty dollars will make me less sad. A hundred dollars will make me extremely less sad. donate to my GoFundMe uh, for my starfruit. What's wild is I feel like I failed. I feel like I goofed up. Which maybe is true. I might have actually goofed up. I feel like I watered it every day. Maybe the crows got me. I forgot to change the bits. Or I, I tried to change things, but Streamlabs just doesn't take sometimes. That's why I still have the Mass Effect Rex gif when uh, I got raided. I had that set months ago when I did uh, a single Mass Effect stream with 10 beep. If subs, if the, the if subs had been working, the, the if subs had been working when 10 beep tried to gift those subs, I promise you that would have been a good, enjoyable moment. Hey. Oh right, I need I need to store that hay. Um, I can save one of those, save one of those. Or no, how much I need Oh boy, let me think. Let's see. Summer crops. So the hot pepper I need. Quality crops. I'm still working on that. Is it the fodder bundle? I need wheat and hay, so I'm gonna save 10 wheat. All right, and we can get rid of the rest. Hopefully this stuff sells for a decent amount. Um, and then, yeah. Um, I'm gonna hit uh, the, the, the farm supply store, and then I'm gonna hit the mines, I think. Took care of all the chores today, so it's time to have some fun. And then I got two dollars left to, to rub together. Into that barn, please. Oh, okay. Uh, time to name the animal. I need input from the chat. Um, priority will be given to people who use channel points. I don't know. I don't think I have a thing that says submit names. Rex is good. I'm already leaning towards Rex. Poggers will be all right. Um, I'm gonna randomize. I, I, I might be. I might do Rex. Oh, good news, everyone. The net's over. Thank God. Oh, Dave is good too. Though we'll save Dave for a sheep. I want a sheep named Dave. Net's over is good. All right. Two dollars remain. That's having a bad night tonight. All my VODs are going to be split into two again, aren't they? I just can't have an uneventful Stardew stream. I have a very good time in Stardew. I do it well. Yeah, I'm cursed outside. The stream is just cursed. I get all the good crops. I get to level 70-something in the mine. Stream crashes. Maybe it'll happen less often now that I'm... Now that I got the good servers. Hi, Linus. I'm happy by myself, too. I'm... This is a no... No romance run. Trunks doesn't take a... Doesn't take a spouse in this run. Maybe that'll be a stretch goal. If we succeed at this, Trunks will take a... Take a spouse. It's like, 
Oh boy, okay. Uh, I don't like fighting skeletons. But I will fight as many as it takes because I don't have to do any mining. Oh, there's already a ladder here anyway. Well, far be it from me to look a ladder horse in the mouth. Gift ladder. Ladder horse? It's all jazz, baby. We keep it loose here on, on twitch.tv slash VE Kruger. Sometimes we just say stuff. Crushing it. Come here, bud. Please be a ladder. Dang. I actually, I sure could go for some food. Uh, there is a bottom. <laughs> There's a bottom to the mines. Uh, it goes down to level 120? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's 120. It's actually been a minute since I've gotten to the bottom, but... Um, but there is a second mine out in the desert. Which is a bottomless mine. You can go as you, you. There's no elevator, um, so you have to start from level one every time. But then you can, you just go as low as you can get before you run out of time on the day, basically. Um, and you can kind of cheese it later on uh, by bringing other items, like uh, portable holes, which create like, or no stairs, which create a instant level down. Um, you can bring bombs to blow up as many rocks as possible in one hit to find the ladder. Uh, and sometimes you find holes that let you drop more than one level at a time, but take damage if you fall more than, like, four. Something like that. Um, so th it's a whole thing. Um, I did it. Got to 75. Uh, congratulations to me. Uh, I'm gonna keep pressing it because it's, it's mid-afternoon only. I'm low on energy, but maybe I'll get lucky and find some food, like some crystal fruits. Or maybe I won't even need to because I keep on finding these dang ladders. Just any old place. I don't know if skeletons ever drop anything, but I'm gonna keep trying when it's convenient. If only I were a Goron. That's a topical reference that the kids like, right? You like Zelda. You like Genshin Impact. Is anyone here playing that, by the way? I have... Not yet considered it, but... Ever ah, Winter Root. Good. We can... Go as long as we want. Princess Zoral, though. Uh, I've been thinking about picking up Genshin Impact, but when would I play it in between Crusader Kings and Final Fantasy and all the other crap that I play on top of my stream games? This I will take, because I need that. Um, I probably, honestly, I would get it on Switch, I think. Like, it would just feel weird to play a game that Breath of the Wild-like on not my switch a crystal fruit too I'm crushing it I only need two more levels to get to the next chest as well which is pretty rad oh they're getting me good with those things let's just take a moment for ourselves and talk about Genshin Impact it seems to run rough on consoles well crap I don't care about I don't care for either of those things. Oh, I've submitted both of these, so I can just eat them with impunity. Well, maybe that's the answer then. Maybe I will wait and see it, either if they get rid of the anti-cheat on PC. 
I don't know why they would, I guess. I don't know, maybe there'll be enough blowback. Or if they patch it on console. I do have a PS4, I just don't have it hooked up right now. Yeah, that might be the thing to do. Um, it's on the floor of my closet. The number one thing I've used my PS4 for is um, getting mad at Bloodborne, and um, the controllers are very good. And they're, they're, they're nice because they can pair to like Steam Links and PCs with Bluetooth and stuff. So it, it's, been, it's been a great box for getting mad at Bloodborne. <laughs> The funny thing about my, my PS4 is the only reason I have... The, the D-pad on the PS4 is quite good. I I gotta admit, though, I am partial myself to the Xbox One D-pad. Because it has this, this, this good click. That feedback is just super nice when you're playing, like, Mario Maker. That's what I use for my Mario Maker stream. And it just feels right to me. Oh, uh, but so the, uh, the funny story about my PS4, the only reason I have it is because it was loaned to me by a friend who was uh, moving overseas on a trial basis. He moved to Hungary. And when he got there, eventually enough things lined up for him. He's like, I'm going to stay in Hungary. Um, but it's actually more expensive to ship or check a bag with a PS4 than it is to just buy a new PS4 in Hungary. So... For very cheap, I picked up a PS4 from him. Yeah, I, I, I've had... Ex ever since the Xbox One came out, I've been buying their controllers for PC. They used to require you to have a dongle, which I have a dongle on this PC still, because I have the first-gen Xbox One controller right here. Where you can see the, the uh, different plastic on the top. Which gives that... That's a dead giveaway for that one. Whereas the third-gen here, where the plastic matches... The rest of it that has Bluetooth, um, and I, for my money, this is the best feeling, looking, and behaving controller that I've ever bought. I, I love it to death. I'm sad because they don't make the Dawn Shadow pink one anymore. I love it. So if it if it breaks, it's that's it. Um, I might just call it a day on this mind trip then, because I got ten levels. Yeah, welcome to VE Kruger, welcome to twitch.tv slash VE Kruger, where we, we re review controllers I also have within arm's reach here. Uh, the N Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, which is, bar none, the best controller ever made for Breath of the Wild. And nothing else. It has a fatal flaw for pretty much every other thing I use it for, but for Breath of the Wild, it is just perfect. The perfect Breath of the Wild controller. And I've played several hundred hours of Breath of the Wild, so I've gotten my money's worth out of that son of a gun. Cats had chewed through... Oh, no. Oh, no. Hopefully... Hopefully it was one with a replaceable cord. I guess technically any controller has a replaceable cord if you want it badly enough, but... That is the least fortunate... Well, some new boots for Trunks. He loses his stylish blue ones, but the Firewalker boots are very good. Yeah, the squishy D-pad on the Switch Pro Controller is so sad. It's a it, it's a real bummer that Nintendo just refused with the Switch to make any good D-pads. Um, I have a another controller within arm's reach here. Let's just pause for a second so I can show you this. Got to reach over. A display and pull out of the dock my, my actual switch which has got these bad boys on it which is the Hori Sp Split Pad Pro um, which Tembeep got me for Christmas and the D-pad here it's still squishy but it's a lot better I would I would say it's w with no doubt uh, an improvement on the Pro Controller but still worse than other like like good d-pads 
Um, but if, if that was the D, the D-pad that came with on the, the Switch Pro Controller or the Switch Joy-Cons stock, if it was this, I wouldn't have complained. I would have said, that's it's fine. Like, it's, it's totally passable. It's serviceable. It works for, like, Tetris 99. It's all you really need. Um, could be better. It, it, it's from Hori, which, so it's weird that they didn't make, like, a really good D-pad because that... I feel like Hori is known for their good stuff, you know, their good components. Yeah, the the Hori, the the, the, the actual like Joy-Con size Joy-Con um, that Hori makes has like the best D-pad. Um, I just about bought one of those, but then I realized that the Joy-Cons. Well, you gotta see how this actually fits in my hand like a normal controller does. And I got, I got these massive hands. These massive meat mitts. Yeah, the, I, I truly gave up on... Oh, I need to go donate this Aquamarine before I forget. I truly gave up on Tetris 99. Because my two options for a while were the Switch Pro Controller and the Joy-Cons. And they're both bad for that. Like the standard four, four arrow D-pad on the, on the, on the Joy-Con is just not like cuts my thumb to pieces it's it, it, like playing that way is my last resort <laughs> oh I'm sorry I had to turn off the okay anyway <laughs> Oh, golly. Maximum Nintendo move of not having a good input option for a game they make. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, did I say something? <laughs> oh. Oh, don't worry. He, <laughs> he didn't miss anything. <laughs> There's one thing I don't want to make my brand. It's this channel being about Papa Roach references. Keep that there. This. Alright, that can go in here. Let's just pop inside. Alright, I think I am going to do one more day and then call it a night. I want to get a full six, six days in for this stream. Let me get this switch out of the way. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Baked fish. A recipe on the level of baked apples. A good humor day is nice to see. Um, boy, I hadn't made that connection, actually. I just kind of got the Oompa Loompa song, sound going for it. Uh, thanks for coming by, Zeb Walder. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the subscription and the follow and all the good, all the good, good, etc., etc. I will be packing it in here myself shortly. It's coming up on 11 p.m. and I got meetings tomorrow. But I was denied a full Stardew stream last week and by Jove, I'm out. Milk every working Joe second of it.
I, 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 I had a meeting with getting a actually eight hours of sleep last night, and that meeting went well. Actually, it was the first time I got eight hours of sleep, eight hours of sleep in, like, months. Um, and I'm a little too powerful today. That's where all the puns are. That's why all the puns are flowing out of me like this. And two people redeemed Math Chat tonight, which makes, which gives me limitless power. It's like a senzu bean. That would really be the thing too. If I was if I was lying broken on a battlefield after a climactic battle and someone wanted to revive me, all they'd have to do is like ask me something about math and I probably would I would rouse. I would come back. Oh I have a cow. <gasps> cow hungry. Cow cow? Oh, cow. Hey. Oh, I need a... Does this place come with a bucket? I gotta buy a bucket or make a bucket, huh? Boy, I forgot. I forgot where, where buckets come from. My math meter's at 100%. And then I, I, I input the, the specific series of keys that cause math chat to flow out of me. Math combo. It's Sunday. We require more math. More math is needed. A pufferfish. You know what? I need a pufferfish too, my dude. And you're not you're not gonna be the one to get it first. It's Sunday. Do not. I'm going to go. I'm gonna talk to Gunther. I'm gonna give him my ruby. No, I'm gonna talk to Clint. I'm gonna make him crack this geode open. I'm gonna talk to Gunther. I'm gonna give him my ruby. And then I'm going to go to the traveling cart. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you've been up for you've been up for 5 days, don't you know? Did no one tell you? I'm going to the cart. Thank you. It costs $1 to make me go to the cart. I forgot the theme of the, of the of this stream is that it's a, it's a sweltering hot summer. Hashtag destroy summer. All right, let's spin the wheel. Let's see some cabbage. Quality fertilizer. Don't need a life elixir. Is always fun to see. Speed grow. Just food. Egg. I do need a nautilus shell. That actually, that, that tempts me. No red cabbage. I, I could, yes, I... I would love an egg in this trying time. Touch pig. I'll find a Nautilus shell, you're right. Ah, oh, I don't have my axe. Darn it.
Well, I guess it's back to the mines, huh? I got some food. Well, sweet pea doesn't is not food. I have to always remind myself of that. Flowers are not food. Hi, Corin. Um, let's drop this. Let's bring the bombs. Let's see how low we can go with some bombs. Uh, the spice berry will give me the juice, so, alright. We'll finish up this stream with a little mine, mine delvey trip. And we're gonna succeed. Darn it. Dag, dag nabbit. Uh, it's sweet pea, but it does not give me any juice. Hmm. Just got a notification that one of my friends is playing Dota 2. That's Dota too bad. Can't relate. I had Dota 2 installed for a long time recently, actually, because of uh, auto chess being only available in Dota 2. And auto chess... Gold! Auto chess is very good. Though I haven't played auto chess in a minute or two. And by a minute or two, I mean probably since like 2018. Been a long time. But people were obsessed with that for a minute, weren't they? Another freaking lead rod. <laughs> I actually have, uh, Underlords installed on my phone. I played it once or twice, but it just doesn't... It, it's not the kind of game I want for, on a phone. Like, I also can't play Hearthstone on a phone. Not that I play, have played Hearthstone since, like, 2016, but... That's a type of game that I just can't get into in a mobile setting, you know? Usually when I want to play a phone game, I like truly want something super mindless. I don't have to focus. If I make a mistake, I'm not gonna ruin my day. And auto chess and other such things are just too, too much thinking. Hearthstone also, yeah. I, I, I played Hearthstone enough to come to the conclusion that, like, I just can't. I can't with that game. Like, I don't want to have to spend an, an inordinate amount of money to have a chance, and then I just play games against people who had spent a large amount of money, and it just wasn't fun. Like, I only had a certain amount of cards to work with because I spent maybe 20 bucks total in that game. And they, you know, they didn't line up right. I wasn't able to make, like, a good engine. That's why I really like games like, um... God, what was that new... Like, something Factory or Rune something or uh, whatever it was. Um, or, uh, Netrunner. It's really rad because everyone kind of starts at the same playing field. Like, you, you select together. You select the cards you have to play with. And then when you begin... You know exactly, like, what the universe of cards is. And you can still get some really interesting builds, but... The surprise... The, the surprises are still there, but the, the disparity, the amount of, like, needing to spend a certain amount of money to be a viable competitor in the game is not... I really like it. I'm sad that I only played it, like, twice after buying an entire Netrunner set. Like, all of it. Oh, I made it. Got to 85, and I'm on the crab floor. So I might dip. I'm also completely out of mining juice. 
Well, let's see. You never know if there's something good. I don't have any other food with me. And I don't really want to gamble with my bombs. Yeah, I guess I'll just use up the rest of my energy. I never spent that much on hats. I did spend a lot of money on keys and like overwatch boxes. But I rarely bought cosmetics. Unless you count like I guess it's technically cosmetic, like the Australian weapons or like the kill streak weapons and stuff. I did spend a little bit of money on those. Not a ton. But enough that you, someone with more sense than me would look at me and say, can't relate, is what they would say. Uh, I'm going to dunk this lead rod into the fires of the Adventurers Club before I sell off the rest of my junk. Howdy, howdy, get rid of that. Um, other nice thing is I got enough gold to make a gold bar, which I can turn in in the community center the next time I play. So all in all, I think I have a very productive stream tonight. Um, all told, I'm coming away with a lot of... Don't have any coal on me, I need to grab some. Uh, a lot of stuff that I didn't think I was going to manage tonight. So, in that way, I've succeeded. I spent like 100 pounds on TF2, which I left it not recommended for on Steam after 3,000 hours of play. Yeah, that's relatable. I actually played a little bit of TF2 recently for a video. Um, and... You know, I had fun. That was fun playing that. I mean, who knows if it's just because, uh, you know, the nostalgia factor of, of it all. But I sure enjoyed myself that little bit. And I never would have lo loaded it up if I hadn't been making, like, actively making a video. All right, get rid of that, get rid of that. Keep this, keep this, keep this. I'll need to donate that. These I'm gonna sell. Oh, um, and that. And I'm just kinda killing time until I can get that gold bar out of there. Keep that in my inventory for tomorrow. Um, anyway, for those of you who are still sticking around, thanks for being here. Thanks for coming tonight. Uh, it's been, uh, technically, technologically speaking, a rough stream, but after we got through that big drop and Twitch issues, um, I, I had a very productive night. Um, Programming-wise, Friday at 5 p.m. will be Restart Mission, where I'm playing Battletech. Um, if you're interested, you can get your self-name, you get a pilot named after you who runs off into uh, their immediate destruction, as Ajax saw last week. Um, then on Sunday, I will be streaming more of an attempt to beat Ajax's uh, galvanized garbage level on Super Mario Maker 2. It's getting late. I'm just going to call it a night in game here. Um, so Friday at 5 p.m. Central, Sunday at 11 a.m. Central are my next two streams. Then uh, Tim Beep is going to stream uh, again this Friday at 7 p.m. Probably playing Alien, I assume. Getting very close to the end of that. Uh, level up in combat. Ooh, that's the real trick. I guess I already have the critical strike chance increasing ring, so I might want to just um, stack onto that. So I'm going to do scout. Yeah, more Alien. Oh, I might level up too. Plus one ore per vein, or chance for gems to appear in pairs. Oh, that I really truly don't know, because I... I guess the, the miner is just more efficient. Oh, but the gems, if I find diamonds and stuff. I'll go geologist. 
Yeah, I got halfway. Um, just about halfway. That's good to know. We'll see if I manage to get any progress. I, I've been thinking about the level like it's actually been in my head the last few days, which means it's it's made an effect on me. Whether that's because I played it for three hours one day or if because I truly love it. Well, you'll just have to come back on Sunday to find out. Um, but until then, or until Friday at the very least, this has been the Stardew Valley Seed Run. I am V.E. Kruger. I'm Kyle. I'm tired. And I'm glad uh, you all stuck around to watch me plant some seeds. Thanks for being here. I'll catch you next time. Have a wonderful night, morning, whatever you are, wherever you are.